Hi everyone, it's Jessica. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share about a project that I hope to be working on. So I have mentioned this before on Instagram, but it's, I think it's the first time I'm talking about it here. Uh, the Quilt Guild that I belong to does a challenge every year. And every year, whoever is on the challenge committee picks a topic, and then that topic is sent out to the guild, and they are able to make a quilt to enter this challenge and it concludes every year in January so we're coming to the end of our year and this year our topic is quilts in movies or literature now for the longest time I have wanted to make a quilt after this children's book that my kids and I love we read it all the time it's called too many pumpkins by Linda White so this is what the book looks like and the story is about this older lady who when she was little, her family didn't have a lot of money and uh, there, were there were time periods where all they could eat was pumpkins because that was what they grew and that was all they could afford. So she hated pumpkins. And she the story is set like later in her life then. Um, she lives alone with a cat out in the country and she grows her own food in a garden, and but she never grows pumpkins. And then one fall, a pumpkin truck was driving by and a pumpkin falls off of the truck and um, it splatters and the seeds get planted. And she tries to dig it up and kill it, but it just keeps growing. And so one day later in the year then, she walks out the front of her house, which she was ignoring because she knew the pumpkin was growing there. And she ends up walking out and she sees these pumpkins everywhere. At first she wants to give them away. She tries to load them in a wheelbarrow, but she's too far from her town and she can't do that. So then she decides to use them. She starts carving pumpkins to light up to kind of guide the people of the village to her house. And she also uses all the other pumpkins to cut up and make pumpkin goodies with. And everyone has such a good time. She gives away uh, lots of the pumpkins and she shares all the treats she made with the people of her village. And in the end, she gives away everything that has to do with the pumpkins, except one bag of seeds that she's going to save for next year. So in the end, she is fond of growing pumpkins again, and she's saving some seeds here in her apron for next year. So we just think this is the cutest story, and I've always wanted to make a quilt that kind of represented this story. In my mind, I picture, um, you know, a big fall tree and a house I picture a wheelbarrow full of pumpkins, maybe some geese in the air, and um, a whole yard just filled with pumpkins, some carved, some not. And then I thought what would also be a nice representation of this story is to have the border of the quilts be all different treats that you can make with pumpkin. Pumpkin soup, bread, uh, pie, muffins. Um, pumpkin drinks like pumpkin lattes and so I have been thinking about this quilt for a few years now and never really getting around to make it and then this year when the guild announced this topic I thought oh this is like this is fateful that this topic is chosen this should be my push to get this quilt going and I waited months and months a little bit in the summer I made a block here and there just a random block to test it out and uh you know, I really haven't gotten it together to do this because what where I struggle is um, I have so many patterns that I want to release and quilt alongs that I want to have and all, you know, all these things that are on my list to do. And this quilt really doesn't rank as important next to those things. But I'm hoping I can fit it in. So I've started making some things. Earlier this week, I made this fall tree, and I'm picturing this to go at the top of the quilt. This is a pattern by Burlap and Blossom Patterns. I'll put the link below. Uh, so that's her pattern, and I made the 18-inch block size. Now, she also has a stack of pumpkins. I tested this one earlier in the summer. This seems like it's probably 18 inches, too. I, I'm not exactly sure how any of this is going to lay out, so I might really narrow this down and put more pumpkins by it, but it gave me a starting point. And then those are the two big ones that I've made. And then I've also made two small ones to go on the outside. This is a little pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. And then this one is cooking utensils six inch block this one has a lot of tiny pieces but super cute and it was worth it so I you know I'm hoping over the next three months 
I can really work and, and finish this. But the thing is, is that I know in December, December is an incredibly busy month for us. So I know that if I have to work on it in December, it will not get done. So I'm, I guess really I should say I have, you know, less than two months to do it if I want to do it. I need to interrupt here. I published this video earlier this morning and I have since been contacted by the designer of the house pattern and she didn't want me showing any of her templates in my video. So I'm removing all of that content and you'll see the end product of one of the windows in a minute and then the video is just going to end early. I have to trim those outer portions but this is a rough idea of what this window is going to look like and it's so cute. I'm going to stop here for today and I'll pick up with making more of these windows the next time I work on this project. So that wraps it up for today. I'm going to pause at the windows and we'll pick up there another time. I think this is going to turn out really cute. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get to the whole quilt before the end of this year in time for the challenge, but either way, at least I've started on the blocks. So thanks for following along and I'll see you back here soon.